What's going on guys, Aaron Azai here. Um, I got a second place deck profile for you for the sneak peek at Imperial Trading Games today. Had a lot of fun. Um, this is the first time I've been to uh, Imperial Trading Games, another local shop. Very, very cool atmosphere. Love to uh, meet a bunch of new people there. Um, so shout out to everybody at Imperial Games if any of you guys are watching. Um, had a lot of fun meeting all you guys and playing with you today. So um, this is the uh, profile I had. I was playing a uh, Despia. There were a lot of Despia decks there. Um, a lot of Despia, a couple of Crusadia piles, which is really, really awesome to see. Um, Gabe and uh, I forget the other guy's name, um, but uh, they were both running the Crusadia stuff. It was really, really awesome. Um, but yeah, without further ado, we'll jump in and uh, talk a little theory and stuff. And um, yeah, I'll just kind of talk about what uh, happened for the day. Um, also, I got the Visa Starfrost um, Ultra Rare promo and the Field Center. Uh, these are pretty standard for if you get do uh, do well. Um, and in the finals, I lost in game three to time, really. Um, I had 7,500 life points. They had 8,000. And uh, game state-wise, I probably had it. Um, it was pretty clear that they didn't really have a... Uh, it was going to be hard for them to follow up, and I had things like Aluber, as well as two other cards in hand, and I was going to draw a fourth. Um, so with 7,500 life points, uh, I probably was going to OTK them or get close enough and set up a nasty board. So anyways, uh, but we'll talk a little bit more about that in a little bit. Uh, we're going to go dive into this Desio profile. So first off, we got three of the Secret Rare uh, Luber Jesters, right? Um, these are the Despia lineup. We got two Tragedy, one Dramaturge, one Adla Bidum. Um, pretty standard stuff. Um, I like the two Tragedy. It just comes up so often. And I mean, as far as playing a third one, in the grind game, I could see where a third tragedy or a second ad libitum would come up, but you rarely ever need it. Honestly, honestly, the, the deck just has so many different things um, and advantages, uh, routes of advantage. Um, so you could try those things out, but this is a 50 card list, and uh, I feel like this is this is pretty good. This is pretty freaking good. Where it's at. So um, we got two Albaz. There was a moment that came up today where I needed the third one, which was really, really weird, but I would never, I wouldn't recommend playing um, three. Uh, the other Albaz cards I am playing are one Ecclesia, one Albion the Shrouded Dragon, one Spriggan's Kit, one Tri-Brigade Mercourier. Um, so yeah, this is a really, really fun package to run. I'll show you which uh, spell or trap that I run for the Albion uh, dump. But it, these cards are pretty standard right now, I think, in most competitive builds. It just adds an extra level of consistency to the deck, I think. Um, the ability to chain block and add Ecclesia back uh, during your end phase by sending, you know, with, when Albion is sent off of Mirror Jade, um, or anything gets destroyed, destroyed, you just have more fodder now for a, a Guardian Chimera, etc., and a special summon for um, your one link play that I have. So it's just a really a great recurring resource. That's the beauty of this deck, is that the, the grind game is just so intense. Um, it just the deck gets stronger at the longer the duel goes more often than not Tri Brigade Recorier and Spriggan's Kit did not come up whatsoever I think I just fusioned them off for Guardian Chimera today so and same thing with Albion the Shrouded Dragon I think I actually sent him for Branded Fusion um, but his effect of being Albaz and Grave actually never came up so um, you know a lot of these cards didn't come up today but they have come up before uh, and at other tournaments, and they're it's they're great. They add another again a level of consistency to the deck that is nice, especially for the 50 card version. I'm playing the one hex sealed and the one dark magician. At first, I was doing this because I just wanted to have fun, and uh, I thought that you know playing the dark magician for the dragoons play, as well as the getting the burn with dragoons, the pop and burn was really really nasty, especially with uh, masquerade being so easy and free. So that's kind of why I run this, but there's another reason why I would just play the Dark Magician and screw the Hexseal Fusion, but there's a reason I play both of them. I may have talked about it in another video, but we'll talk about it more in the side deck. And this is essentially, there's a way to answer um, control decks with the Hexseal Fusion that I would leave the Hexseal Fusion in there because in my opinion, the Dark Magician is just a better card than Hexseal Fusion if I had to choose between the two, but I'm playing both because I'm greedy. And the nice part about it is, again, they're just, you can fuse them off for Guardian Chimera, draw more cards. Uh, they're never really dead in the hand, and that's the really crazy and cracked part about this deck. 
um, that I've noticed is, yeah, you just get poly in the hand and you're good. Um, Fright for package. So three edge imp, uh, chain, three Fright for patchwork, three poly, right? Um, pretty standard stuff here. And this is just, you know, adds this extra level of consistency and, and um, hand resource to the deck. That's just insane. It's just insane. Um, the real MVP of the deck, honestly. This is just, uh, try playing the deck without these cards and let me know how it goes because my god, they put in a lot of work. Um, for branded spells, again, pretty standard stuff here. Um, there are times where a third branded in red comes up. There are times where it happens and you could try to play them yourself. You could try to, you know, play it out and, and play a third one. Um, I do think that if this deck gets hit at all, I think Brandon Opening will be the one to get hit. So when it does, play your third Brandon Red and Brandon Red. Just swap them out, you know. Um, but yeah, no, I uh, that's pretty standard stuff there for the Brandon spells. We are playing the three cross out still, and wow, did it come in handy today. Um, multiple times where I would hit the Imperm Ash. It was beautiful. It's amazing in the mirror match. Um, and there were a lot of people playing Despia. So this is just uh, amazing. Great, great card. Loved it. It was fantastic. Playing two triple tactics talents. Really standard in this deck. Just such a, I'm falling in love with this card the more I play it just because everyone is playing so many hand traps. So it's like, oh, oh okay, you hand trap me. Nice. All right, uh, I'm just going to draw two and keep playing. Now for the one ofs. One, um, Despia Theater. One Foolish Burial, combo starter, one Call by the Grave, gonna make sure our things go through. And this card, uh, one play of the day, um, you know, I always love, you live for moments where you just see your opponent's eyes pop out of their head. And my buddy Gabe, probably the best duelist in the room, did that in game one here um, when I activated Mind Control when he had Baron on the field. He had Baron, DPE, and something else. Uh, maybe the uh, uh, Adventure Token or something like that and he had to it just forces your opponent to answer like your opponent can't not answer a mind control <laughs> so it's so good it's so good i love it i love it um so yeah it's a great way to just like all right yep well it's taking your negate away real fast so um and then for hand traps we've got uh triple ash again pretty standard stuff here um, but the rest of it, it gets a little funky with, uh, obviously, cross-out targets. So we got one Droll Unlock, one Effect Veiler. Push this up a little bit. One Nibiru, one Ghost Spell, one Infinite Impermanence. And you might be like, why are you playing one Nibiru? Well, I... I hey, look, it's 2022. You have to respect combo. So this is never a dead card. I mean, maybe it's, maybe it's pretty dead in 50, but it's never really a dead card to have in your main right and in the off chance that you get more than five special summons or summons off in the turn and someone tries to nib you you can you don't have to worry about it right if you have cross out you don't have to worry about getting nibbed um so that's nice and then we've got uh one more the final card is branded retribution um it's not like some wowsy card it's really just for the combos with Albion the Shrouded, uh, Albion the Shrouded Dragon? Is that, is that the card? Yeah, the Shrouded Dragon. Um, so you dump this for it, and so this guy, this card reads, uh, when a spell, or trap card, or monster effect is activated that includes an effect that special summons a monster, return to the extra deck one face-up fusion monster you control, or two fusion monsters in your graveyard that mention Fallen of Elbaz as materia, and if you do, negate the activation, and if you do that, destroy that card. You can banish this card from the graveyard, then target one branded spell in your grave, accept retribution, add it to your hand. So essentially, um, you get to uh, add branded fusion back to your hand, right? Um, or anything else that you use in the turn, right? So you really are going to be adding like branded in red or branded fusion right back to your hand after you use it. And it's free, right? So the combo is like you you have Albion and the Shroud Dragon in your hand, you activate Albion and the Shroud Dragon, you dump this, you... you uh, was it drew, put that at the bottom of the deck and draw one card? Um, it's it's just like stupid. You don't go negative, and now you have this to banish for adding a branded card back to your hand. Absolutely insane. Extra deck. I think this might be very very similar, or almost exactly the same as it was before. So uh, one Lubellion, two Mirror Jade, two Albion, 
two Masquerade, two Guardian Chimera. That's it for the two ofs. Pretty standard stuff. A third one for any of these never really came up. I guess you could play a second Lebellion, but the amount of times that that comes up, is, I don't know, really think you need it. One Despian Quiritus, one Titanoclad, one Starving Venom Fusion Dragon, one Dragoons, Blue Eyes Tyrant Dragon. This is the sauce. This is the respect to control decks. Um, that the Light Hex Seal Fusion. That's why I got to play Hex Seal Fusion and Dark, uh, Dark Magician. And then the one link for Dark, the Dark Charmer, to get that DPE. Or again, in the mirror match, this is just fantastic. So, all right, guys. Um, next, we have the side. So, in the sideboard, playing one Ghost Bell. Um, just to uh, help with the mirror match, right? We got two Droll and Lock, again, for the mirror match, for Droll, uh, uh, Flunder, um, for a lot of decks. Droll just really, really hurts. Two more Nibiru for, again, got a respect combo. And then uh, triple evenly matched. Um, just for board breaking cards, we got one, two Twin Twisters and one Lightning Storm. Um, I probably would just play three Lightning Storms if I had them. Um, but this is what I have to work with. And then, uh, again, two more Infinite Imperm. Um, I like it more than Valor. And I do think that it's just super, super good against certain matchups. Um, again, mostly Combo and Flunder. This is a really, really great card to side in. And also for Flunder, we have uh, Flunder, Tri-Brigade, Sword Soul, we have the Zombie World, Necro World, Banshee um, combo. So, But yeah, guys, uh, that is the deck profile. Hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, let me know what you guys think of it. I'm actually going to do a video that will go over Despian combos um, with this deck in particular, but kind of just the generic uh, Despian combos and things that you can run um, and whatnot so you guys can improve your uh, Despian skills a little bit for those who are interested and uh yeah also uh yeah we'll talk about let's look at some of the stuff that i got in the sneak peek so um the worth mentioning cards were libromancer fireburst performa pal uh gentrude performa pal lady Ange, navy dragon mech motor frenzy sylvan dance slope and extra pedal so nothing really that good got the ultra rare fireburst uh pretty cool um so noteworthy commons. Um, that guy's pretty cool. This is cool for the zombies and old school players who remember um, what that card is based off of. Yeah, I mean, there's just really there's a lot of different interesting things in here. Um, Scare claws. Artworks are always really really cool and phenomenal. Heroic uh, Morning Star there. Therion, another Therion guy. So, really cool stuff. I'm really, really looking forward to uh, Diefall. I got a case coming in. It's going to be fun going through it with you guys when we go through it. Um, but, yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for checking this out, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.